All right, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Okay, I'm going to take off my video. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to follow along. Perfect. Okay, so can you see the chamber home screen now? Yes. Perfect. So I like to just start by going into our directory, which you can get to right from the home screen here, right up top of this orange um, tab here. And so this brings you into our full business directory. This is obviously the online version. We do a yearly printed version as well. Um, so this is where all your information is being ported into. Um, so I look different because I'm logged in? What was that? Does my screen look different because I'm logged in? It might, it might take you to, um, if you, we'll go into the member login in just a second and I'll show you what okay. the directory looks like through there. That might be where it's taking you. Okay. So I just like to show people this so that you can see what your listing looks like. So like I'm going to be editing the chamber listing today. So I'm just going to find our page just so you can kind of see like this is what it looks like with really nothing added, just the basic information that everybody fills out when they join the chamber, you know, your address, your, you know, generic contact info, email, website, there's no, we'll go through, you know, adding photos, videos, your logo, a description, all that. So you can see it's pretty boring right now. Um, that's what I found a lot of people who are you know, joining me for these tutorials, this is what a lot of their profiles look like. So this is why it's great to just kind of go through here. So I'm going to show you now um, 50 Front Street is an apartment in downtown Binghamton, a department complex, and they have a great um, updated page. So they've got, you know, their logo, their header image all added. They've got some social media links um, on their page their hours, driving directions, about the apartment, some of the amenities that they offer, um, and then obviously a ton of photos of the um, apartments themselves and the facilities, you know, what it looks like outside and, and all that. So, um, and you can add, as far as I know, as many photos as you'd like. I believe they've got about 50 here, um, and I, you know, don't see, I don't, I have tried to see, you know, if there's any cutoff and I don't believe that there is. So go ahead and, you know, once I'll walk everyone through, um, you know, how to get that all up to upload, uh, <laughs> uploaded through your member information center. Um, and I mean, obviously it makes sense that they have so many different pictures with an apartment complex, but maybe it's, it's even just pictures of your staff or your office or, your work, you know, um, you can add that all in here. So I just kind of want to show you the two, one without anything loaded in yet, and then one um, that has been populated. So now I'll go into the member login center. Um, so if, if anyone doesn't have a login already created, either I can create that for you, or you can create it right here. Um, under the no login created sign up now and it'll just it'll want your email address whatever you signed up under um, the chamber with that's what it'll um, be under so i'm just going to sign in for the chambers info and so paul this is probably what you were seeing um, yes. if you go to the directory here it looks different than what i showed you through the website um, it has the same information it just you know, is listed in a different way. And you can filter by category, same as you would um, on the, you know, Chamber website. You know, you could search for accountants and then it'll just filter, you know, 11 different uh, accountants um, that are members of the Chamber and you can look through there that way. Um, you also have access to the events calendar, both through the website and through the member login center. Um, this is a little bit easier because it already populates all your information. You're already logged in. Um, so, you know, you can take a look. It, it does pull all um, events that are on the Chamber's calendar. So a lot of them are member community events. Um, like you'll see if you see this green register now button, that's a Chamber event. And the easiest way is just to filter over here by category and you could click just on chamber and then that way it's showing you only chamber events that are upcoming so lots of webinars um, upcoming and you can take a look through those and easily just hit register and sign yourself up but i'm going to go back question. yeah absolutely in the directory how do you get your how would i get my firm categorized under engineering so I if you see it there, so if you're looking to change a category, we have to do that on our end. It's not something you can do through um, the direct or 
through the, the member login center. So great question, Paula, uh, because when you sign up, each level of membership has a different amount of categories associated with it. So uh, that's why only chamber staff has control over the category listing. So okay. shoot me an email uh, or throw it in the chat and I'll do it after this for you, okay? Thanks. Um, okay. So I'm gonna go back home here and we're gonna start just in the personal information. Um, so this isn't critical to be updated, but I'd just like to go over it so that everyone knows this you have access to. So this is really like your personal representative profile. So in a minute, we'll go through um, the company tab, which is for like the full organization listing. This personal tab here is specific to you and your login. So every company, um, you know, you could have multiple, um, representatives associated with your company, you know, as many as you choose to add. Um, sometimes it's just one person, even though you might have 20 employees or 100 employees, you know, only one person has access to be able to update the chamber information, which works for them. Or sometimes they like, you know, every representative to have their own um, login and be able to register for events themselves and, and all that. So um, I'll just kind of briefly go through this representative information. So this is where you would update, you know, your, your basic basic information, name, um, your title, your contact reference. Um, if you have a specific, you know, direct line, work office, work or office phone, um, your address, if it's different than the organization, um, you can go ahead and update that. And then obviously your email, this is the most important part, um, especially for registering for events, because that is um, what, if you do it through the Chamber website without logging in through the Member Information Center, uh, that's what it's matching up to make sure you're a member of the Chamber and give you member pricing or discounts. Okay. Yep. And you can also add a personal bio if you'd like. Um, that's an option through your representative profile as well. If you ever need to update your user or password, you can do that here. Um, on that, I'm actually going to go back because I didn't point that out, but on the member login page through the Chamber um, website, you can always requ request, you know, a forgotten like link if you need to reset your username or your password, or anyone in the Chamber can do that for you as well. If you're having difficulties or for some reason it's not coming to your email, or you're not sure what email you use, you know, whatever it is, um, just reach out to us and we can reset that as well. If you want to add a photo for your own representative profile, I'm going to go in. I'll just add a chamber logo here, a little icon. And so if you want to upload your headshot, you could do that in your profile here. And then there are some other options under the personal. Uh, I mean, if you wanted to add in your, um, your own you know, Facebook or LinkedIn pages or whatever, you can do that on here as well. And then any display preferences. If you want this to show on your, um, on your listing online through the directory, you can allow that to be public or you can just say, I only want members to be able to see it, which is they'd have to be logged in in order to see your information. So you can choose if you want that shared or not. If you just want it, you know, just in the background, that's really fine. You don't have to select either of these, um, but that is an option. So next we'll go on to the company information. And this is where you update all of your organization information. So that's what's being pulled into the online listing and to the printed directory. So this is where um, we'll spend the bulk of our time today. Um, so first, uh, I mean, just again, general information, you know, company name, if you ever need to update that, if, you know, changes, or if, you know, we left off an LLC or something from your name, um, go ahead and make sure that that's updated. Um, all your general contact information, again, your email. This might not be your specific email. Um, this could be a lot of people use like an info email or a marketing email or communications, you know, whatever it is. It might be a more general email that you want listed um, instead of your personal email. Um, some people do prefer their personal email. If that's who you want other members reaching out to, then that, that's where I would, um, you know, make sure that that information is updated. Um, your website, if that ever needs to be updated, you can update your website here. You can always click verify URL just to make sure that it's going to the appropriate link. Sometimes I catch broken links and we'll fix it. Um, so it's good to always test that. 
your address information. So say you have a different mailing address, if you have a PO box that's different than your physical address. You see how this is grayed out right here? Well, you can just uncheck this little blue box and it'll allow you to edit that um, in case you do, you know, you need to change that. You, you have access to that as well. Okay. And then if you want to add in, if you haven't already, your established date. Um, I also tell people if you don't know the exact date, you know, that your business was created, you can just put, you know, January 1st of maybe you only know the year. 2021 or you know whatever it might be you can add that in here um, full-time part-time employees that's where you can get that information updated and this is really just information um, that the chamber uses for reporting um, for our year in review we always pull the number of um, employees covered you know under the chamber membership uh, i think it's like 40 or 50 000 um, the last time we pulled it, I can't remember the exact number, but um, like I said, this is just, you know, information for our internal purposes. And then you'll want to make sure that you're hitting save changes after you update that, and it'll tell you that it's been successfully saved. So next I'll go on to the employees tab. And so back when I was talking about different representatives, how they can all have different profiles, here's where you could edit that. Um, so you can take a look at who's associated with your account right now. Um, these are people that would have access to register for events. As you see, we've got everyone's email. This, this is all the chamber you know, employees, obviously, but um, make sure these email addresses, like I said, you know, are updated because that's what the system is using to verify if you're a member of the chamber so that you do get that member um, pricing and discounts. Uh, if you need to add a representative, you just scroll down and click on this little add employer rep. I won't go through all of it, but again, it's just the, the same information, you know, name, title, email address, phone number, address, uh, if you want to add in, you know, their cell phone or something like that. Um, that's where you can go ahead and fill that out to add a representative. I'm going to go back here. And then if you needed to delete anyone who's no longer active with your company or for whatever reason, you know, maybe you only want a couple people associated, you don't need, you know, all the salespeople or whatever it is, you know, you can, you can just click on the little box next to their name. And once it's checked, you'll see down here. Now you can click deactivate selected reps and it'll take them off your account. Then we'll go to the website information. So if for any reason that your, um, the organization information that we already updated up here, if you want it to show differently on the website for any reason, you, you have access to do that. So some people, you know, if they work out of their house, um, for example, they might not want, um, you know, their personal address listed on the website or in the printed directory. Um, so if this box is checked right here where it says use organization information, you can uncheck that and you can take that out or, you know, you could make it a PO box or whatever, you know, you would like there. Um, again, just verify, you know, the, the same information website, um, email address as well. And then we can go ahead and add in our social media uh, accounts. I have um, the Chambers LinkedIn and Facebook pages here that I'll go ahead and add. Under your web description. So um, this first box right here is the about section. So um, I'll go ahead and just add in the Chambers mission just to populate that and then the search results field is just a shorter um you know search result description just a, a just a summary that will um, show up underneath your your directory listing our hours of operation we'll go ahead and get that added in and then i'm not going to add any driving directions but feel free to go ahead and add that in your profile as well um, this highlight section, you don't have to utilize this. I think it's a really cool piece um, that you have access to. It basically will take, um, you know, any, you can, you can specify a specific link on your site, 
you know, that you want to direct people to. So obviously at the top of your page, you'll have the, you know, visit website. It'll take you right to usually the homepage of the, of the member or the company. Um, but you can also put in these links directly to um, some specific spot on your website. So say it's a service that you offer or, you know, nonprofits I've had add, you know, like a donations button and link right to, <clears throat> you know, a place where they can donate through their website or, you know, if you're hosting webinars or events and you want to link directly to those events, you can do that here. So for the chamber, I'll just go ahead and um, just add in a tab about membership and link that URL to our, our membership page on the chamber website. These keywords are also important. Um, so like I was talking about the categories, you only have so many categories that you can be listed in. Just mainly that's because of the printed directory. So it's not 300 pages long, you know. Um, so these keywords are important because if you are if you only get two categories or three categories under this keyword section, you can add in um, different places you'd like your company to populate or to show up in the search results. Um, so when people are searching in that um, the search bar on our online directory, um, say they're searching like accountant, but for whatever reason you're not listed under accountant, you know, you put yourself under something else, you'll still show up um, when they search for that field. Um, so for the chamber, I'm just going to add in a couple of keywords here. So what tab are you on right now, company? So I'm I'm on the website information. Okay. Yep. And so I'm just going to save that information. And then at the top here, you'll also see um, that there's a, a link so that you can preview the web page. So I'm going to preview our listing just so you can see where that information is coming in now. Once it loads. All right, so now we before it was really just this information up top here now i've got our linkedin and facebook pages our hours about us and here's also that highlight so i'll just click on it just so you can see so instead of going to the chambers homepage, it's going right to our membership page um, so like I said, you can you know customize this however you'd like and you can add a bunch of different um, highlights as well. So that is everything for the website information um, under the or at least the text portion of the website information um, under additional information here's where you can add in you know a business classification this is um, relatively new that we added because uh, we've been getting a lot of phone calls or emails for people looking for a list of you know women-owned businesses or minority-owned businesses or whatever it might be. So if your business falls into one of these categories, I encourage you to you know file yourself under that so that we can make sure that we're including you know everybody we should be. Under logos. Um, so this is where you can make everything look pretty now we'll get into like the logos, the photos, the video. Um, so the member page header is what's going to show up at the very top of your web page. So I'm going to add in our banner here. And then our member logo, we'll add in the chamber logo. And the search results icon, you can use your logo again for this as well, unless you have something else you'd rather use. But this will show up in place of your name on the directory, and I'll show you that in a second. So I'll just save those so that we can go back to our listing. I'm just going to refresh this so you can see the update. So there's the banner we added and our logo. And then I'll just go back to the directory really quick. And the, the search results icon feature has been disabled. Is that because of our level of membership? What was that? The um, search results icon, mm -hmm. that area, it says this feature has been disabled. Hmm. I'll take a look at that. I'm not sure why it would be saying that, but I'll look, um, I'll look at your account uh, right after this, Paula. Okay, thanks. So I'm just going to go under associations for the chamber. So we pull up here. So oop, where do we go? There we go. Um, so you'll see, so instead of the name showing up like it does for all these other members here, our logo 
comes up. So you don't have to use that, but um, that is a feature and I'll figure out what's going on with that, Paula. Okay, thanks. What was that? I said, okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Might just be a button that for some reason got turned off, but I'll make sure that, that that's updated. Um, so then I'm gonna go into photos. So like I showed you on 50 Front Street where they had you know, a bunch of photos of the apartment complex, um, you can you know, create a gallery here and add in um, whatever photos you want. I'm gonna add some from events for the chamber. Pull three just so you can get an idea for what that looks like and then you'll just want to hit save gallery and you can also rearrange these um, as you're uploading them and you can add captions too if you'd like uh, maybe you know what the event is or you know if it's your staff or picture your building or whatever um, you can update that there i'm gonna go back to the chamber listing so here's those photos added in now to our account. Right. And then under the video, you can add a promotional video or maybe you've recently run a commercial or something like that that you want to get added to your account. You can do that here. It does have to be already uploaded on YouTube because the system can only take a YouTube link. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. And... All of our videos are on Vimeo. Vimeo? Okay. Yeah. You can try adding in that link, um, but I think that it requires it to be on YouTube for whatever reason. Well, I think maybe we can take some of our Vimeo videos upload them to our YouTube channel. We don't really yep. um, use YouTube anymore. And okay. We have a channel right now and it's all updated. All updated. Okay. Yeah. I'll look at that. Thing. Yeah. So um, I'll just go back and refresh this so we can see now with the video added in, yeah. your highlights kind of bump over. So maybe it's something that you want to highlight, you know, in the video, certain, you know, services that you offer or whatever, you can link to those, that page or those pages, um, you know, on your website, which is kind of to be able to just give those quick links instead of people, you know, digging through your website to find something it's, it's right there, which is handy. So that's pretty much it as far as updating your um, online directory listing. Um, I'll just go through a couple other things that um, you have access to as well that I like to always tell people about. Um, the discount programs is one of you know the ones that I like to always go over because some people don't know they have access to this. So you know, as a member of the chamber, you have access to um, discounts from other members. Uh, we call it member to member discount program. So you can add in your own discount program. You can just go up to add discount program here, or if you already have one, you can manage it here. But I encourage you to look through the discounts that other members are already offering, um, you know, some for staples, some for, you know, envelopes or whatever it might be um, at Northside Automotive. If you need some car work done, 10% off your total bill, um, you have access to these discounts. And like I said, you can you can add your own to be able to offer to um, other members as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you're hiring, um, I also like to show the job postings tab. Um, and again, this is some, both of these things are things you can add through the Chamber website, um, but I always think it's easier to add it through the member login because it populates more of your information and links directly to your account that way. Um, so you can, you know, just again, add a job posting. I'll click on it just so you can kind of see what information it is looking for, but you know, the job title, the description of the job, you know, you can copy and paste this information from if you have, have already have it on Indeed or something like that, you can just throw in that information easily there. Um, you know, select a category for what type of position it is. You know, maybe it's a clerical position. You can choose that. And then it'll automatically have all of your organization information. You can also add in, you know, if you have an HR representative that you want them to contact or the hiring manager, you can put in their contact info directly as well. And then you can set as long as you'd like it to run. Um, there's no limit. And then you can always come back and update it as well. If you know you only set it for two weeks and it ends up taking 
you know, a month or whatever, you know, or you hire someone quicker than you anticipated, you can come back in and take it down as well. And then you would just hit submit for approval. And we basically just go in and, and approve any chamber member job postings right away. And then the last thing I'll just show real quickly is the reports tab. Um, so this will show you, you know, your membership visibility. So how many views has your specific listing had in the last 12 months? Um, the chamber listing has had 2,285 views and impressions. Uh, we're not currently utilizing the banner ad impressions, so no one will have information there. If you have a discount program loaded, this will be where you can see, you know, how many views that discount program has had. And then the chamber did post two um, job postings earlier this year that uh, have gotten 256 views through the chamber website. And you can actually click on this information. It'll drill down a little bit, you know, more you can filter on, you know, if you want to see, you know, what dates people were looking, you know, at the job postings through. Um, these are the two time periods that we had uh, the, the open positions listed. So makes sense why the, that's where those little blips of activity are. Um, but yeah, so that's that's pretty much what um, I have. Do you have any questions for me so far, Paula? Um, yeah. Membership visibility, we have 1,113 views. Um, you said I could drill down into that, but I'm not seeing that. So in... Okay, so for that, because I just viewed ours, it went up by one, that's funny. Um, so this you don't have access to be able to, to drill down into, it's the uh, like the discount programs and the job posting views that- okay, And I saw you. those over here on the side. What was that? Yeah, and I saw the, the ability to drill down into the banner ads and the discount program, job posting views on the left. On the left yeah. Hand. Yeah, for yeah. whatever reason, there's no, link to that. So I know that we in the back end have information to be able to drill down into that. So if you're ever curious, you can shoot one of us an email um, or email the chamber email, whatever is easiest. And we can pull that for you too. If you're curious about, you know, when people are, are looking, um, we can get that information for you. Okay. This is great. Awesome. I hope definitely carve some time out and after yes. that, a few things was while we were working, but Yes, let me. Um, more to do. <laughs> yep, um, I'll get you under engineering, and then I'm also going to figure out the uh, the search results icon as well. Why that's not populating? Thanks. No problem. All right. Well, if you don't have anything else, I'll let you go. We went a little bit over, so thanks yeah, for joining, Paula. Thanks, Colleen. Bye. Take care.